So Liverpool's midfield has gone from desperate to actually quite entertaining and exciting at the moment. You know, you've got Dom Sabol's lying at the ground running, Wataro Endo, you know, finding his feet, Ryan Gramberg's going to make his debut soon, and Alex McAllister, we all know he's going to start playing really well soon, he's just had a bit of a rough start. But there's a forgotten man, and that's Thiago Alcantara. And he's one of the most technically gifted players we've ever had at the club. But I just want to see where he fits into this Liverpool squad, really. So let's get into it. It's a big claim, the most technically gifted midfielder, especially in my lifetime I've seen at the club. Because, you know, we've had players like Javi Alonso, even Steven Gerrard, Javier Mascarano, and all these lads. But in my opinion, Thiago Akatara is the most technically gifted footballer in midfield Liverpool has had during my lifetime. It's not better than Gerard. Gerard was a much better player than he was, but I've never seen a player with his touch, his passing ability, just his movement on and off the ball. And it's one of those that, regardless of the system that we play at the moment, and if it might pass him by a bit, he's still a massive addition to the squad when he's fit. So where does he fit in? Because at the moment, Dom Sabozla is probably the first name on the team sheet. McAllister, again, he's fine his feet, but like I said earlier, he will come good because we know what we're getting from him. And I think Ryan Gravenberg is going to get embedded into the squad soon. And you know, we all know he's really promising, but no one's really know how he plays for us. So it'll be interesting to see that. And obviously, I know he's just there to be a stopgap to you know, shore up midfield a bit and just add a bit more leadership in there, which can only be good. But is Thiago going to fit into this squad? Because you know we've seen it throughout his career at Liverpool. People have said he doesn't suit the style that Klopp wants to play. And that could be true. I mean, it did make the team of the season a couple of years ago when he just missed out on the title. And he was fantastic. He's fantastic in the Champions League. And he showed what he can do for the squad because he had a tough start to the, his career. You know, he had a, that COVID season where Van Dijk went injured. It was such a dysfunctional squad. There was so many injuries. So he couldn't really show what he got. And he got covid he had a lot of injuries himself and he just couldn't get a run of games going. However, when he got, you know, a couple of seasons ago, when he got going, we, we see what he's about. I personally don't think he's going to fit into the squad and I think this will be the last year we see Thiago in a Liverpool shirt. If not, maybe in January he might leave because he's got linked to Saudi for, a, for what, the last few months now. And I really thought he was going to go because his contract ends at the la end of this season. However, I just... I can't, I can't see how he fits in. I can only see him getting replaced uh, next summer because I think Klopp's going for this rebuild, this youthful you know, midfield now who just has so much energy and so much legs about them. And I think this was, you know, it's our downfall last season really because the midfield just looked so tired, so old, no energy in them, no running, just completely polar opposites to what it used to be. I do think you can't underestimate what Thiago offers to the squad because... My opinion, he actually is quite good in the air for his size. He is a good tackler. You know, he does foul quite a lot and he's a bit of a booking merchant. However, I do think he adds that you know, bit of solidarity in the midfield. The downside is he's very slow. He was never quick when he was younger, so now he's getting on a bit with more injuries. He's just, he's never been a runner really, has he? And if you compare that to someone like Gravenberg, who looks very athletic, very tall, very strong, box-to-box -box player, and Dom Sabozlai, who seems to you know, run all game, plus McAllister, it's just, they're completely opposite to each other, so he seems to be getting pushed out more. I'd personally still like him to see him involved in the squad, I don't think he's going to start, but against the smaller teams that you need to break down, Thiago is just fantastic at that, he can pick a pass better than maybe anyone in the world on his day, and I think that's what we need sometimes, because... As much as someone like Graham Burge, I'm, I'm hopeful. I think he's going to be a good player for us. He's not. He hasn't got the ability of a Thiago. And to be honest, neither is McAllister. And so Bozlai looks like he might do eventually. But when I mean, you're comparing it to one of the best in the world at one point. So I think it's always good to have him around the squad. He's a leader. He's a winner. And I think this all can help this. Essentially, this youthful Liverpool side this season. I know we've still got a lot of veterans in there. But, you know he's still a leader that he can help the team progress. But I think the problem is with Thiago is the injuries because one of my favourite sayings is the best ability is availability and that's just not what Thiago offers really, is it? 
I don't think he's played over 30 games for us in a season, uh, in the Premier League season that is. So I, I think Klopp's got sick of these players that it's not always their fault. I think Thiago's just been unlucky with injuries, but we've had Ox, we've had Navi Keita, even Henderson struggled with inju injuries at one point, and I think it just got to the point where we want players who can play week in, week out. You know, someone like a James Ward Prowse for West Ham, previously Southampton, just seems to play every game, and even though he might not have the technicality of some of our players, dependable, and we need dependability in this squad now because, especially with some players getting on, the defence looks a bit shaky at times. You need that solidarity in midfield, which hopefully, so far, Sabozla looks like he brings. McAllister, we know he plays a lot of games in a season. And Endo and Gravenberg, I think they'll bring as well. I think Endo played a lot of games for Stuttgart in the last few years. So I think that's going to be a big negative towards Thiago. I think at the moment he's still battling with the hip injury that I saw him lose quite a few minutes last season. And at his age now, especially with a hip injury and especially someone with frankly limited athleticism, then it's just going to basically deteriorate his career even quicker. And it will be a shame to see him go because I don't think he's won... Not enough. I think he could have easily won more at Liverpool. You know, he wouldn't have won a quadruple with a couple of games off. And he's only really going to come away with uh, two domestic cups, which is a shame for him because he is fantastic. And another day, if he might have come two years earlier, he might have been an absolute legend for Liverpool. Just hasn't really you know, worked out the way we like it, really. But I think especially because recently the news has come out that we were after Bruno Guimaraes from Newcastle and we put a formal bid in for him. So it shows that I think they are building this midfield without Thiago in mind, really. And the fact that there hasn't really been contract talks around him at the moment, I'd, I'd be surprised if he's in a Liverpool shirt next summer. But you tell me if you want to leave a comment on this video, seeing if Thiago fits in. I just can't see it personally. I think Klopp is going back to that quote-unquote heavy metal football what made us successful in the first place, you know, see if we can outscore the other team. And... It's going to be exciting, but I just don't think Thiago will fit into that. It's a shame, but it's just the way it is, really. But, yeah, if you like this video, if you could leave a like, let me know what you think. And if you could subscribe, that'd be great. But, yeah, see you next time.